Felipe says, I have an Excel that I share with someone outside my org. Well, there should be the dun 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 theme theme music there. <laughs> That's the beginning to every horror story in <laughs> collaboration. Uh, but after some time, he needs to log into the link and gets an error that he has needs to request access to the file that I shared with his account via email. Uh, someone have an explanation or a fix. I'm an admin on both tenants. Because this seems like a really simple thing to me. Yeah. yeah. I see this all the time. Yeah. And it's same. working as designed mm -hmm. that there's a date when you share by default. There is a date. It's a limited time, and they've just exceeded that that window, and you have to reshare. Yeah, right. Now, uh, the other thing I've also seen is um, Christian that if they've got more than one potential login, they've got their personal and they've got their organization, they'll sometimes have logged into Edge or whatever, and then they go to click on it and it's defaulting to another profile. So therefore yep. they go to try and log in as another email address and they're trying to then wonder, well, why can't I get in? That's some of the stuff that I see regularly from an user behavior where it's just like, just look, but hang on, it's not letting me in, but they're not looking at what account that it's actually on just through your browser. Mm -hmm. Something simple. I, I, and I, I run to that myself, you know, yeah, working same. daily inside of three separate tenants. I know some of you are saying only three tenants. I, really, I was going to say. My three <laughs> working tenants. And then there's uh -huh. all the other ones. Um, yeah. And so I'm constantly moving in between the logins. Uh, and yeah. so that the multi-tenancy you know, is, is, is an issue. Really funny going back to like when Teams first got released. And we kept a bunch of MVPs, a lot of us that complained about some of the limited multi-tenancy or the multi-tenancy issues. I wouldn't say limited functionality. There was no functionality around that. And I remember being told by a Microsoft person saying, well, you MVPs and you people who are consultants, that's like a, it's a rare, it's, it's not it's very common. Thing. Yeah. 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 I'm like, no, like every, no, it's every not. partner, every, <laughs> every consultant, you know, well, my complaint was Crazy. that it's like the people that are out writing and talking about your products the most are having mm -hmm. all these problems. What do you mm -hmm. think they're going to talk about? But anyway, mm -hmm. I digress there. <laughs> but, but I, uh, but I think yeah. in this scenario with Felipe, I think it's, it's as simple as that. When you go and yeah. you share out an Excel file, a Word doc, a PowerPoint, whatever that is, and you copy the link, there's also the, 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 the terms of that. The restrictions can they edit or not is it read only what can they do and then how long and an organization can set the default for that sharing which is mm -hmm. typically like seven days mm -hmm. um I, I i there might be an upper end limit i don't know if you can put unlimited it might be like 30 uh you know a window of up to 30 days but um but that's something that uh we see and maybe sherry can uh join in what are your thoughts in this question <laughs> uh, fill me in. <laughs> but I, I don't know if, you, if Michelle or Kirsty, if you have anything to add to yeah, that. Yeah, I, I sure do. So uh, this is around Excel uh, file that's shared outside his, his organization. Um, but after sometimes the login link uh, is not accessible. So my recommendation, you know, you said you are an admin uh, Philippe, so I would go into the SharePoint Admin Center. I would look at your sharing uh, policy uh, and maybe extend the link, however, uh, to expire a little bit longer. Uh, however, uh, if you are talking about sharing between two tenants that you are both the admin for, make it easy on yourself and create a shared channel. Uh, go in, do some research. Uh, you can set up the cross-tenant access settings in each of the tenants since you are the admin and create a shared channel on each one, uh, have maybe two-way um, uh, capability to share. And now you have an easy access to, instead of sharing the link, just go ahead and put in the cloud link inside of your shared channel.